Richard Kirsch uh, is a person who is the director of the Healthcare for America Now. He's coming out with a new book called Fighting for Our Health. Now, this is very important because during the healthcare fight, this was the largest group uh, that was spending the most amount of money in favor of the healthcare proposals. And I often criticized this group because I thought that they were for weaker and weaker legislation, that they were supporting President Obama way too much that they were not being aggressive and pushing for a more progressive plan. So I was very surprised to find out that Richard Kirsch, who was heading that organization, has now written a book saying that we were right. It turns out, internally, they were pushing the Obama administration, and the Obama administration pushed back and was furious at the idea that progressives would want that bill to be any more progressive than it was. And in fact, as he explains from his own insider account, they were cutting backroom deals with the healthcare industry just as we told you they were. And in fact, he calls them not only thin-skinned, but quote, and I think this is devastating, weak need. The reason I think that's devastating is because there were so many people from the outside looking in going, no, no, he's playing three-dimensional chess, you don't understand. This is all part of a brilliant strategy. He looks like he's weak, but in fact he's really strong, and he's you know, suckering these industry officials to go along, and he's getting the Republicans and the Democrats to go, no, 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 the guy from the inside, the guy who was running the largest, best finance group in favor of President Obama's health care says, no, they didn't have any brilliant strategy. They were just weak. So whenever the Republicans came in and demanded something, they said, okay. Whenever the industry demanded something, they said, okay, what do you want? Okay, we'll give you more and more. And so they asked, they said, hey, listen, why don't we come at this from the outside? So I'm gonna skip to the last quote here, Jesus. Uh, and, and if you get pressure from the left on the outside, then you could use it as a, a, as a bargaining chip and say, well, I, look, the left is pushing me and I gotta go in this direction. Oh, they were furious at that idea. Jim Messina, uh, who at the time uh, was leading this effort and was deputy chief of staff, who by the way now runs Obama's re-election campaign, apparently tried to get Kirsch fired for that suggestion. Called the people that were on the board of that, saying, how dare this guy criticize us even a tiny bit, even internally. He should bow his head and do exactly as we tell him to do. Here's a quote from the book. A White House insider told me that when he asked Messina what the inside-outside strategy was for passing health care reform, he replied, there is no outside strategy. No, it's only insider baseball that they're playing with the health care industry. Now, the other huge issue was, as we looked at it from the outside, I said based on news reporting and based on what their actions were, it appeared that they had cut a deal with the health care industry to throw the public option under the bus. The Obama supporters said, how dare you? The president said publicly that he was in favor of the public option. I'm sure that he was fighting as hard as he possibly could behind the scenes. Here's the quote from the book from a guy who was knee deep in this, again, running the most pro health care reform organization in the country, trying to get this passed. Quote, the White House had negotiated a number of deals with the health industry designed to win their support for reform including agreeing to oppose a robust public option which would have had the greatest clout to control how much providers got paid. So there is your answer. The White House was not fighting for the public option. They were fighting against the public option. That's because they had cut a deal with the healthcare industry to negotiate that away so that they could pass weaker and weaker version of healthcare reform so that at least they could pass it and call it historic, put a mission accomplished banner up and brag about it. Now, the health care uh, plan that finally passed was not all bad. And we've given you the nuance on that. There's, you know, you've got universal health care, kind of. Uh, you've got a lot of upsides to it. But as Andrew Sullivan brags about, it is nearly identical to the Nixon plan. It was originally uh, came from the Heritage Foundation, the most conservative think tank in the country. It was, as Richard Kirsch explains, a deal that the healthcare industry pushed for and agreed to, and they killed the strongest parts of it, and the reason they did was partly because the president and the entire White House was weak need. So, you wanna know what the reality of it was? There's the reality. 
Now, you don't like it. You can cry about it all day long, but it ain't going to make it isn't going to ch change. But I guarantee you the Obama supporters will read this and they will have a million new excuses. Richard Kirsch is a Republican. Richard Kirsch is a racist. Richard Kirsch is this. Richard Kirsch is that. They'll all pile on, right? But they will have no substantive answer for this because Richard Kirsch is absolutely right.